suffer badly with anxiety and for a lot of years I went to see a therapist to combat it and to combat the drinking. Now recently, I've not seen her for ages because I thought I'd beaten it. I thought I was like happy, right? So I went to visit and I said, look, I'm pursuing my dream of stand-up comedy, but I fear that I've got too happy to be able to do it. And she went, I really shouldn't tell you this. I'm like, yeah, what is it? And she went, for the rest of your life, I can assure you, you will be riddled with depression, anxiety, and neurosis. <laughs> <laughs> to which I went, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <sighs> Relief, new bit, literally nothing. <laughs> New bit, that side, that is funny, reality, not funny. Um, I also do, should really do another new bit following that, but I'm gonna, I also have, uh, got into yoga to combat the anxiety, right? Does anyone do yoga? Madeline, you look like you could do a downward facing dog. <laughs> that is not a grubby euphemism, that is a legitimate move, right? So I started doing yoga, and all, it's all the girls, all girls in the class, and me, and they're looking at me like I'm on the pole, and I'm like, fuck off, and they're looking, and I'm like, look, you know, I'm trying to combat anxiety and depression. So we're doing yoga, and I've got to prove to them that I'm the real deal, and I'm not fucking about. And they're looking at me like, this is our time, and I'm thinking, yeah, you're doing football, I'm taking yoga, right? Again, in my head, funny, but reality, no. 